Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be demoing and test driving the Charlotte Tilbury Tinted Love Lip and Cheek Stain which I am wearing today in the shade Petal Pink. So if you want to see my thoughts as I apply, my experience as I do a wear test for the day, then just keep watching. My moisturiser primer and base products are all Tilbury to give this lip stain and cheek stain the best chance of working. So if you're interested, I use the Magic Cream Lights, which I don't really like. It seems to take a while to sink in on me. What do you guys think about it if you've tried it? I use the lovely Youth Glow Primer, which I have a review of on my channel. I will link to that if you're interested. I also review the Wonder Glow. I mixed the Airbrush Flawless Foundation and the Hollywood Flawless Filter. The foundation is in the shade 3 Cool and this is in the shade 2. For my base, I then used the Magic Away Concealer under my eyes and on my imperfections that is in the shade 2. For my eyes I also used Charlotte Tilbury just to go with the theme so I used the um, Eyes to Mesmerise Cream Eyeshadow in Champagne and the Colour Chameleon Pencil Shadow Stick in Champagne Diamonds. I used the Legendary Lashes Volume 2 Mascara. And the next step is lips and cheeks. So that is where you join me. So here we have it. That is the packaging. I have the shade Petal Pink. It looks like this. You get quite a big tube, you get 10 mils. Yeah, this looks bigger than a lot of the lip stains that I've seen around. This specific shade at the moment has a 4.4 star rating on the Charlotte Tilbury website. The star rating varies for different shades. They've obviously broken it down for each individual colour. They are all hovering around the 4 out of 5 star mark, the ones that have been reviewed. Petal Pink is described as a dreamy pink lip and cheek tint for a pretty rosebud inspired veil of magic makeup. I don't know why it always claims to be magic, because it's not magic, it's just makeup. It's really nice makeup, but it's not magic. So the product information says, Darlings, discover my new tinted love in Petal Pink, a dreamy pink lip and cheek stain for a veil of just kissed makeup magic. Imprint your lips and cheeks with hydrating, long-lasting colour that glides on wet and leaves your lips and cheeks with a sweet, natural-looking satin stain finish. I like the idea of a satin finish. It says, it's easy to choose, easy to use makeup with a blendable, buildable texture for a modern, no makeup makeup look. That's right up my street, especially as the weather warms up. Five shades which contain lip-loving ingredients inspired by sweet berries, crushed rosebud petals, cherries on the lips, and the euphoric rush running through summer fields with pure abandon. Okay, what makes it magic? Let's hear. So, instant moisturization. 92% agree lips feel moisturized and hydrated. The hydrating formula is enriched with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E that boosts hydration by 180% after four hours and 118% after 12 hours. That sounds interesting. The high pigment formula lasts up to 12 hours. It claims to be transfer proof, lightweight and buildable. 92% agree, lips feel soft and smooth and it has a soft doe foot applicator that makes application easy on the go. Apply to lips and cheeks for a pretty, fresh, dreamy veil of long-lasting, buildable colour. Let's open this baby up. So there is the doe foot that it's talking about. I'll give you a little swatch. Okay, so it looks to me like a, like a gel type formula. There we have petal pink. Maybe I'll try to use some of that on my cheeks so I don't waste it. I wonder if it's primarily 
a lip stain and the cheeks are just an afterthought. Okay, I'm on the cheeks, let's go for it. I'll just dab it on. Blend. Very, very subtle. But it is a really pretty colour. I'm not sure if that's even showing up. So I'll go for the other side and just build up gradually. Claims to be buildable. It's, it's giving a nice kind of sheeny finish, which I really like. I love the idea of stains for summer, just because they feel so weightless on the skin. There I am with one layer on my cheeks. I will see if I can build that up. I hate the idea of being covered in heavy cakey makeup in the summer. So something like this is just ideal. It feels quite nice and cooling going on actually. And it's super, super subtle, but really pretty looking there. I've got two layers on the cheek. Definitely not a dramatic color. This is giving me bridal vibes. Maybe it's just because I've got the white dress on today, but it, it's just a, a really pretty, natural colour. Okay, two layers. I'm, I'm going to build it up. I'm going to put three layers on, but then I will leave it there. <laughs> Definitely not dramatic. If that's what you're going for, I can't speak to any of the other shades because I only have this pink one. But I think that is really, really pretty. I see myself reaching for this on no makeup makeup days in the summer months. I absolutely do. And then I might just go over that with the sponge that I applied my foundation with to kind of really blend it into my cheeks because it's not kind of melting in as much as I might like it to. Maybe it just needs a bit of practice. There I am with three layers on. What do you guys think? Very subtle, very pretty, dries quite fast, you don't have that much time to work with it, so apply this a little at a time and build up the colour that you want. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to get to what we're really interested in, the lips. So this applicator makes it look like it's shaped so I can quite easily line the lips. Very pretty colour. That went on quite easily. I think it would be quite hard to mess up. There I am with one layer on my lips. It's giving like a pretty sheen. I really like that. That is right up my alley. It's natural looking. I hope it lasts. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. I'm going to build it up with the second layer just to see but that would be really enough for me. Oh, it, it's gorgeous. I'm going to go for a second layer and hope it doesn't mess it up. Oh it's so lovely. This really strikes me as like a second generation lip stain. <laughs> I'm thinking of the older Steeler and Benefit ones, which looked really stainy, for want of a better word. But this looks like just creamy, gorgeous lip colour. Mm. There I am with two layers on. I definitely prefer this product 
for use on the lips rather than the cheeks. But the cheeks is a nice little bonus. This could be a really, really good on the go product because you can pop it in your bag and it'll do your lips and your cheeks and it'll also go with the monochromatic vibes. Really, really good kind of one and done. That is looking so juicy on my lips. It feels really, really comfortable. This costs 25 pounds for 10 millilitres. So what I'm gonna do now while that dries down on my lips, I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my complexion makeup. I'm gonna stick with the theme and take the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And I will dip into some of the bronze shade with a big contouring brush and just do a really really subtle bit of bronzy contour action just wanted to see how makeup built on top of the cheek stain didn't want to put it over any powders Okay, no problem so far. Let's put some highlighter on top. I love this highlighter in here. It's, oh, it's so nice and subtle, but so angelically glowy. It's one of my favorites. Hmm. Hasn't disturbed the blush. Okay, that's just kicked up the angelic factor by a factor of ten. This is in the shade light medium and I am going to go for the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and this is in the shade 1 Fair. Now I'm just going to take a, a really loosely packed brush for this because I've had time making this powder work for me but I wanted to use it today just so I could give the stain the best chance. Lovely, pretty Charlotte Tilbury look. She always has our back. And I'm gonna finish off, of course, with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Okay, let's have a look. Wow. I think my makeup looks really nice. The makeup has gone nicely over that cheek stain and it's looking soft and subtle. The um, shine has gone slightly while that um, lip product left to settle, but it still has got a glossy look. I did exfoliate my lips today, this morning, to give this the best chance, but I don't know if you can see, it's sticking to the dry skin a bit on the inside of my lips but all stains will I've wiped that away without much problem so this is how I'm looking it's had a few minutes to dry so I will test the claim that it's transfer proof wow <laughs> basically nothing came off on my hand At this point I'm really 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 impressed but of course that's only half the answer does it have lasting power so I'm gonna go about my day and I will come back and do some check-ins with you to let you know how this stain is wearing hi guys it's actually about 25 minutes after I put the stain on and I noticed a change so I wanted to come back and update you so although it's not matte 
I would agree it's looking a very satin finish. The initial glossiness that it went on with has disappeared and it's settled down to a kind of not shiny but not matte effect so that instant sheen doesn't hang around long. It do will also cling to any dry flaky patches of skin which I kind of instinctively rubbed away earlier Um, I should have waited to show you but yeah just be careful definitely make sure you exfoliate before you use this product it will cling to any bits of dry flaky skin you might have on your lips it's already faded slightly kind of on the inner rim of my mouth where it's I guess more wet um, which is to be expected and I think it's faded very very slightly already but I'll continue on with my day and let you know how it fares I just thought that was important that the original gorgeous glossiness does not last and this is what you're going to get on your lips I am back for another check-in. I've been wearing this stain for just over an hour and a half and I've noticed a change that I wanted to report back to you. My lips are starting to feel ever so slightly dry, which is weird because the claims are that it moisturises. Now, I was a bit dubious when I saw hyaluronic acid as an ingredient in this. As we all know, hyaluronic acid is really moisturising but Caroline Hiron says you need to put something wet over the top of it to seal it in you shouldn't just put it on dry skin which is of course what I did today so if Caroline Hiron says it then I believe that it's true so I'm wondering if that's why my lips are feeling slightly dry because there's nothing sealing this hyaluronic acid in and the moisture that it's brought forward is just escaping. She says it's like a sponge, so it's just maybe drying out a bit. I notice a little fading on the upper lip, but nothing too crazy, still quite visible. My cheeks look pretty much the same. So yeah, I just thought that was interesting. I mean, although it says the moisturization comes hours into wearing it and I've only had it on a short time, I'm just not sure it's going to come. But I will report back. I haven't had anything to eat or drink yet. I've just been out running a few errands. I did wear a mask while I was out and it did not transfer. So the transfer proof claims are good. They are correct. Not sure about the moisturising claim. The sheeniness has gone. The lips are looking more matte than they did last time, but not super, super matte and dry. So yeah, there are all my observations for you at an hour and a half. I will continue with my day and check back in again in a little bit. I have now had the stain on for almost four hours. I have eaten and drunk in that time and the colour has faded. It's faded quite significantly. There is still some colour on my lips. It's faded more from in the inner lip area than the outer lip area, which makes sense. But it's faded kind of well. There's no patchy bits. It's, it's fading quite smoothly. I've got more on the edge of the lips because I'd use that kind of doe foot to kind of line the lips almost so perhaps that's why it's lasting more around the edge I'm not mad at it it's still on the cheeks I'm not experiencing that moisturization that I was promised that magic moisturization If anything, the lips feel a little bit dry. 
I think in future what I might do when I wear this is use this as a base and then put a moisturising lipstick on top to kind of seal in that hyaluronic acid and then I'll hopefully have some colour remaining once the glossy lipstick's worn off. It's faded but it's not the worst. There is still some colour on the lips so I am going to continue with my wear test and I will see you later on this evening. I have now been wearing this stain for around seven hours and I'm ready to share my final thoughts with you. So as far as the cheeks go, it has stayed on really well. It was subtle to begin with, so I'm confident that that will last all day on the cheeks. There's been significant fading on the lips, however, not in a bad, patchy, obvious way. It's faded really nicely, obviously with more colour staying on around the perimeter of the lips where there's been the least contact with saliva, I'm guessing. My lips don't feel massively moisturised or hydrated. Like I said before, if anything, they felt a little dry. However, it's nothing crazy or excessive and it wouldn't put me off using the products again. I really, really like this. I think it could be a great product to pop in your bag on the go for summer. It is long lasting. It will fade if you eat and drink, but you could top this up and it's just a single product. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna see how well it builds and I'll try and give myself a little top up. So I'm going to first start with the cheeks. And I'll see if this goes on over makeup, which it does really, really, really nicely. So there's the cheek I've refreshed and there's the normal cheek. See how much I can build. I really like this guys. So you can absolutely bring back that delicate flush to the cheeks as the day goes on. And I'll try the same thing on my lips. Oh, it's so nice. If I was gonna quibble, I'd say I love this initial look, how glossy it goes on. However, it claims to be a satin finish, not a glossy finish. So that's no shade on the product. That's just my preference. I love a glossy lip. My ideal type of stain would be a glossy stain because it's long lasting, but it's nice and juicy looking. Absolutely gorgeous. That's built up fine. So you can comfortably reapply this throughout the day. I don't dislike the way it looks when it dries down to that satiny finish. I just prefer the glossy look. That's just my preference. Like I said earlier, I think what I'd be likely to do the next time I use this, and I will try it out and let you know how I get on in the description bar, is use this as a base and then go over it with something with some moisture in it, either a glossy lipstick or maybe even a lip balm to kind of seal in the hydration from the hyaluronic acid and kind of give that glossy finish that I like and hopefully once that wears off there'll be that lovely stain as your base layer so your lips are going to never look bare no matter how long you're out and about for but what I will just try now is I'm gonna try a glossy lipstick. I'm gonna try my Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Lips in my favorite shade, Pillow Talk, on one lip. And I'm gonna try a tinted lip balm. This is the Fresh Sugar Rose on the other lip, just to see how they go on over it and how they look. I won't be able to do a wear test of this right now because it's time for me to have a bath and go to bed, but we can just kind of see from the initial application. So I'll put this on my top lip. That's a good combo. So 
So there I am with that Superstar Lips on the top lip. And I'll put some of this pinky again lip balm on the bottom lip. And there we go. So let's have a look. I wonder how it would look with a gloss or an oil on top or whether they'd break the stain down. I'll try that out too another day and I will let you know in the description how that works. I've got a lot of homework today, haven't I? Okay. So I think that stain is just absolutely gorgeous as a base, but it works fine on its own. Very versatile, use it on the lips and the cheeks. I can see myself using this a lot this summer. So if you haven't already guessed, I think that the Charlotte Tilbury Tinted Love is absolutely fab. Now I want to know what you guys think. Have you tried this one or have you tried another lip stain that you really enjoyed or not enjoyed? I love stains. They're so lightweight, so I've been looking for a good one and I found one today. So please share your experiences down below in the comments and I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.